Hi, everybody. Welcome to another broadcast of You Are Enough, and I am your host, Prophetess Nikki. It's a pleasure to come into your homes. Today, we're going to dive right into the video because I want to share some personal things that I wish I had known a little bit earlier in my life. Maybe you have two things that you wish that you had learned earlier, but we're just going to touch on maybe four or five things that I personally wish that I had learned earlier, family. Stop worrying about what might happen later instead of now. I really had a hard time with this one. I would worry so much about tomorrow, the next day, next month, next year. I would overthink my whole life and I would be missing opportunities that God would put right in front of me. So stop worrying about what might happen to your later family because it's going to prevent you from living in the now. We want to live in the now. We want to live in our present moment because worrying about what might happen or worrying about what could happen is going to rob us of being present in your own life. You're going to miss your own life if you worry too much about things just that didn't even happen yet, family. Number two, I want to share this with you too, family of God, how much time I wasted holding on to the past. We waste so much time holding on to the past instead of looking toward the future. You know, whenever we hold on to the past family, it prevents us from seeing out of a clear eye. It allows us to stay in a place where we will never be able to grow, where we will be stagnant. How much time I wasted holding on to the past. You know why, family? You can't waste time holding on your past. You have to release the past. You will never have a tomorrow. You will never have a future if you hold on to the past. You have to take the lessons that you learned from the past and push it forward toward your future. That's all that you can do. Because life is too short, family. Life is just too short. God tells us that our life is like a vapor. That means it's here today and it's gone tomorrow. And number three, family, maybe you had a really tough time with this one. I know I had a hard time with this one. I would worry so much about what other people thought about me. And I think it came about with some of the abandonment issues that I personally faced growing up, I would worry and I would try to please and I would try to make sure that this person likes me. You know, that is very danger, dangerous for any of us to worry about what other people think about us because we will begin to people please. You're going to forget who you are. You're not going to be comfortable in the person that you really are. You're going to live your life through other people. You're going to vicariously live your life through other people because you don't have the courage and you don't have the faith that you need to be the person that God called you to be. So don't worry about what other people think about your family, because at the end of the day, people have an opinion. And that's all that opinion is. You have to have a positive perception of who you are. And number four, family, I want you all to know this without a shadow of a doubt. It's okay to make mistakes. You know, you can feel your way to the top, family. You can feel your way to the top and you haven't fallen until you don't get back up. Whenever you refuse to try, whenever you refuse not to get back up, you have failed. It's okay to make mistakes. Why don't you affirm that it's okay to make mistakes? Why is it okay to make mistakes, family, and don't beat yourself up? Because it's going to give you an opportunity to learn from it. It's going to give you an opportunity to grow. Because guess what, family? As we age, as we get older, we gain knowledge and we gain wisdom. And number five, how to stop blaming others for your problems. Have you ever blamed another person for your problems? Have you ever blamed another individual for the hardships that you're facing? You know, all these things come about in our life family because the issues that we face when we were a child, that's why it is so important for you and I to heal. This is called blaming is basically victimization. You have a, you have a victim mentality. We want God to heal you of that victim mentality. So these five things that I wish that I had learned a little bit earlier in my life, but thank God for the grace of God. Thank God for his mercy. So stop worrying about what 
might happen, family. And don't hold on to your past. Don't waste precious time holding on to the past because your life is like a vapor. It is here today. It's gone tomorrow. And don't you dare worry about what another person thinks about you because their opinion is just that. It has no bearing. It has no weight on the person that you're going to become. And just know it's okay to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But guess what? We have to learn from the mistakes that we make because making a mistake is going to give you an opportunity to learn. It's going to give you an opportunity to grow. It's going to give you an opportunity to do what you didn't get an opportunity to do before. And don't blame others for your problem. This is called victimization. And if you're going through any of these things, we just pray that God will heal your family of God. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast today. This is Prophetess Nikki, and it's been a pleasure to be in your homes. Don't forget to like our video, share, and subscribe. I want to thank each and every one of you for what you do daily on our channel, all of your prayers, all of our all of your acts of kindness. Thank you for purchasing the book too, family. Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. I am grateful for all of your emails that you all are sending this way, how God is transforming your life, how God is answering your prayers and giving you breakthroughs and giving you miracles. God bless you. Don't forget that you are enough. God bless you. Bye-bye.